Shaking tables, otherwise known as shake tables, are complicated devices that are used today to help buildings prepare for disastrous earthquakes. Shake tables are tables that are made from mostly concrete. These tables move in a way that is similar to a real earthquake happening. The shake tables can move in a horizontal and vertical fashion, as well as rock back and forth. They can also move in a side-to-side -side motion, portraying the motion of lithospheric plates. They are also able to twist on a central axis. People build models or actual buildings on top of these tables and test them to see if they can withstand an earthquake. They stim stimulate an earthquake by using their multiple ways of moving, often simultaneously. They make it as realistic as possible. They even include reproductions of earthquakes that have happened in the past, especially the ones that caused damage. The test buildings are shaken until they are destroyed. They do this to see what kind of earthquake different materials can withstand. The structure of the building also matters in this test because if it has a poor structure, the building will collapse. This is an example of people stimulating an earthquake to make it as real as possible. Here is a before picture of an earthquake. And here is the after. It is really important to make sure your home is safe, so they do these shake table tests to make sure they are. The first shake table ever made was at the University of Tokyo in 1893 and ran on a pretty simple wheel mechanism. Japan recently did the world's largest shake table test in July of 2009. This project was mainly to test new designs for a multi-story wood frame structure during large earthquakes. But this was also to improve the safety in wood frame buildings. They executed this test by making a seven story building. The first floor was a steel frame floor, but the other six layers were wood. The people working there made two rooms look like apartments so they could see the damage that would be done to the rooms. There was a series of about five tests, each time getting stronger and stronger. The last test was about a magnitude of 7.5, and the building still wasn't destroyed. Not only was it not destroyed, but the buildings only had a few cracks in the dry walls near the windows and doors. This shows that humans can defend ourselves against earthquakes and we just need to take the extra precautions to save ourselves. The homes we live in could be dangerous if a big earthquake happened. Even the slightest crack can make the buildings tumble down. Some people are taking new precautions because of earthquakes and from what shake table test tells us. Under their houses they put what is called a base isolation, a rubber plate under their house. This allows the ground to move under the structure without moving the actual structure. Another thing people do is they put a steel plate under the building. This allows the ground under the plate to move while the plate isolates the movement of the building. When the earthquake in Chile in 1960 happened, it was off the Richter scale. The earthquake was at a magnitude of 9.5. When this earthquake happened, the buildings were totally destroyed. None of the buildings survived this massive earthquake. The people's buildings didn't survive because they didn't know their buildings were unsafe. They now test this by putting structures on shake tables, especially the big tall buildings. Now people know what to do to be safe from total destruction from earthquakes. I personally think that the invention of shake tables is an amazing one. It's really easy to make your own shake table at home. You only need a few simple supplies. And for your buildings, you can use straws, marshmallows and toothpicks, or blocks, or anything else that could represent a building and is easy to make.